Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense, and this is my rheumatology playlist, and today we'll talk about the anti-nuclear antibodies and their patterns. So, let's get started. This is a series on rheumatology, which is actually a wrong name. There is no current that's flowing. So, O2 antibodies are divided into anti-nuclear antibodies and anti-cytoplasmic antibodies. Anti-nuclear antibodies, they target the nucleus. Anti-cytoplasmic antibodies, they target the cytoplasm. No kidding. Pay attention, because I said anti-nuclear antibodies. Anti-nuclear antibodies, there is an S here. S, because it's plural. You speak English? Okay. Because there is a huge difference between ANA and ANAs. By the same token, there is a difference between tetracyclines, which is a class of medication, and tetracycline, which is just an individual drug. Don't forget to hit that bell because something is coming for free and it will be announced in a few days. Antibodies, anti-nuclear, anti-cytoplasmic. Anti-cytoplasmic such as the ANC, anti-neutrophilic cytoplasmic antibody. They are antibodies against the cytoplasm of the neutrophil. Cool, we have C-ANC and P-ANC and we have talked about them before. Anti-nuclear antibodies, we have non-specific, this is the ANA without the S. And then we have the specific ANAs and they include about 11 or more. Anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-Smith antibodies, anti-SSA or anti-Rho, anti-SSB or anti-Lot. How do I remember them? a Rho, Bila. Like Italian opera. Beautiful, but heartbreaking because I have Sjogren and lupus. Anti-U1-RNP, ribonucleoprotein, anti-histone, anti-RNA polymerase 3, anti-scleroderma 70 for scleroderma, anti-centromere for the limited scleroderma or crest syndrome, so, anti-RNA polymerase 3 and anti scleroderma 70, this is for the progressive systemic sclerosis, but the centromere is for the limited systemic sclerosis, also known as Crest syndrome. Anti-synthetase has three subtypes. Anti-Jo, oh, this is just a lady who got divorced. In the beginning, I was pro-Jo, but he cheated on me, and now I'm anti-Jo. I'm so lonely. Just kidding. And then we have the anti-SRP and the anti-MI2. Oh, my two. Ooh. My, my goodness, it has a good prognosis. This is dermatomyositis with good prognosis. And then we have the anti-ribosomal P protein. Remember the good old days when you thought that physiology is so hard? Do you like it now? Please remember that there is no single blood test whatsoever capable of confirming the diagnosis. Just because your ANA is positive doesn't necessarily mean that you have lupus. The question is, does the lab test correlate with the clinical picture? And that's why, for lupus, you need to go to a doctor, a clinician, not a freaking dentist. Oh, dentists are doctors too! I would rather jump in front of an 18-wheeler than call a dentist doctor. My apologies to the beautiful dentist before they jump on me in the comment section with their lidocaine. This is ANA without the S. Antibodies against your own body. Oh yeah, autoantibody against yourself, against the nucleus. We have talked about them before in video number 6 called Rheumatology Mastering the Labs. ANA without the S is not specific because it's positive in every single thinking disease in rheumatology. Drug-induced lupus can have positive ANA. Systemic lupus can have positive ANA. Mixed connective tissue disease can have positive ANA. Scleroderma, Sjogren, Dermatomyositis, Polymyositis. This is the anti jo by the way. Rheumatoid arthritis. All of them can have positive ANA. That's why very non-specific. Don't forget that anti-double-strand DNA and anti-Smith are specific for lupus. Which one correlates with lupus nephritis? This is the double-strand DNA. Now let's talk about the pattern. Where exactly do the ANA autoantibodies attack the nucleus? We have many patterns. Peripheral, rim, diffuse, homogeneous, spickled, or nuclear. Let's do it. So here's the name of the antibody. Here's the pattern of the antibody. Here is the target or the antigen of the antibody. And here is the associated disease. Anti-double-stranded DNA. Pattern, rim. It targets the double-stranded DNA. Oh, no kidding. Anti-double-stranded targets the double-stranded DNA. You don't say. Disease, lupus, antihistone, homogenous, histone, homogenous. And they target the histones. H1, H2A, H2B, H3, and H4 histones. And go watch my videos on DNA because I've talked about the histones before. Disease, drug-induced lupus. Anti-RNA polymerase. Pattern, nuclear. They target RNA polymerase 1, disease progressive systemic sclerosis. This is not the Crest syndrome. Crest is limited, kind of. But this is the progressive systemic evil sclerosis. 
Next, anti-MI2. MI2, my goodness, they have good prognosis in dermatomyositis. They are nuclear and they target the nuclear protein complex. Anti-JO, yo-JO. Cytoplasmic pattern, they target histidyl tRNA synthetase. This is the name of her ex-husband. Let's just call him Joe. Disease, dermatomyositis, polymyositis, anti-SRP. SRP stands for signal recognition particle. Cytoplasmic pattern, you see it in dermato and poly. Anti-centromere antibody, pattern dividing cells. The target or the engine is the centromere, you see it in the limited. Crest syndrome, this is limited scleroderma, but we don't say scleroderma anymore, we say sclerosis or systemic sclerosis. Why the flip did they change the name? Because they said a scleroderma literally means a tightened skin. But scleroderma is not just a problem with the skin. We have skin problems, kidney problems, lung problems, esophageal problems, etc. So let's just call it systemic sclerosis and make the lives of medical students miserable. Next, let's talk about the speckled. Here is a tip. Speckled, SLE and Sjogren syndrome. Anti-SSA, arrow, be love. For lupus and Sjogren. Anti-Smith, lupus. Anti-U1RNP, lupus and mixed connective tissue disease. Anti-scleroderma 70 against DNA 2 isomerase 1. Progressive system sclerosis, not crest. Let's review. anti double stranded DNA and anti-Smith, lupus. Anti-histone, drug-induced lupus. Centromere, limited scleroderma. RNA and the scleroderma 70, this is the progressive systemic sclerosis. SSA and SSP, SLE and Jogren. U1 RNP, mixed connective tissue disease and lupus. Anti-synthetase, it freaking depends. If it's anti jo this is myositis, dermatomyositis, polymyositis, and it's associated with interstitial lung disease in these diseases. Anti-SRP, this is in myositis and cardiomyopathy. MI2, dermatomyositis, my goodness, they have good prognosis. What will I see in rheumatoid? Rheumatoid factor and anti-CCP, lupus, anti-double-stranded, anti-Smith, anti-URNRP, and anti-ribosomal peer protein. Lupus or Sjogren, SSA, Aero, Bila. Scleroderma, limited, anti-centromere, systemic, progressive, anti-RNA polymerase, and anti-scleroderma 70. How about the seronegative spondyloarthropathies? This will be negative for rheumatoid factor and negative for CCB, but positive for HLA B27. You can get 40 videos about antibiotics, antivirals, antifungal, and antiparasitic medications by going to my website medicosisperfectionalis.com. You will love it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit me that bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to get my antibiotics course. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.